Well, last night must have been wild. Who's she? Maybe I stuck it in her land down under. Nice. Hey, I'm Steve-O, and welcome to my backyard in country Victoria. Today's episode is based in Belgrave, in the eastern burbs of Melbourne. In today's episode, we get to see what Belgrave has to offer the average Joe. So what are you waiting for? Let's get in the show on the road. Dodger, open the fucking car. What are you doing? Belgrave, Victoria. It's a suburb of contrast from bushy forests to dense farmland. But from wherever you find yourself in Belgrave, it's top part of Melbourne's eastern suburbs. Belgrave is an area filled with hidden dangers and includes wild dogs which are ready to pounce at any sudden movement. So let's explore what this beautiful part of the world has to offer. As this area is filled with native Australian animals including koalas and kookaburras, if we're lucky enough we may be able to find one. However, some of these animals are nocturnal and the best time to see them is at night, but you can't see them because it's dark. There are also so many types of ferns in the Belgrave forest, too countless to count. Shit, it's a kookaburra! Now kookaburras live out this way because there is a reliable food source and the conditions are favourable. Belgrave's forests are fascinating and there's nothing that I enjoy more than exploring these bushy treasures. Now you'll never know what you'll find deep in this forest, so let's go check it out. This right here, stick insect. Do not be surprised if you can't see it because it has very good camouflage. Right, here he is right here. Where'd he go? Well, if he was here, he'd look a bit like this. If this was him, he would look a lot like a stick, so you would not be able to see him. That's just great camouflage, isn't it? Now just let me put him back. This right here is the Australian walnut. They normally grow in orchards, but you might be lucky enough to find the odd nut around here. These walnuts have a hard outer shell and a softer inner nut. These nuts are very nutritious and can be the difference between life and death in the bush. Let's crack one of these bad boys open. Right, you've got to be very careful here. It's very easy, you hit yourself on the finger and that's not very good. Stop right. filming! <laughs> this here is the common brown snake. It's the second most venomous snake in the world. Darken up. She's ready to strike, but luckily this time she did After a quick visit to the local hospital to check that I wasn't going to die, we are off to visit one of my good mates, Bruce. G'day Bruce, how's it going mate? Steve-o, not bad mate, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks mate. So what seems to be the problem mate? We've got a freshwater croc mate, and she needs to be moved. Right, okay. So how big is she mate? Is she sort of like this big or this big or what? She'd be about this big mate. Alright mate, done this a few times in my life, it's uh, quite simple really. We've got to get into her territory, remove her as humanely as possible. Don't know how she's going to react mate, because it could could go wrong, okay? But we've got to be careful, alright? Here we go. Once I was changed, I was ready to take this fresh in the lesson. careful here because any sudden moves could scare it off. I think I got it mate. It's right here. I think I got it. What's that? Crikey! What a day in Belgrave. We've seen how snakes can react to their natural environment and how crocs can be really deadly if not that was properly. And after this long day I can finally take in this beautiful scenery. Before I can do this though I need to start a fire. Hey Bruce, can you get us some paper? Yeah, mate. All the pages are stuck together. Ah, oh, fine. So that concludes another episode of All Country Adventures. Hope to see you next time.